John Eats Cheap doing a little bit of a mashup today. You know, we, Mrs. Cheap and I have done this in a video before when you get to the end of the bag of potatoes because we can't eat a whole bag of potatoes, you know, before they go bad. So we get down towards the end and I go ahead and bake them because you can use them for, uh, you know, potato wedges. You can use them for rebaking. You can use them for uh, our favorite thing is like home fries, chunked up fries uh, for breakfast. So I had, I had three of them left over and so we knew we wanted some potato skins made. And Mrs. Chief said, we haven't had potato skins in a while. So yeah, I'll do that. I have a previous video, I think, where we did them in the air fryer. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's, for breakfast, what are we gonna have for breakfast? Let's do breakfast potato skins. So we're just gonna try it, never done it before. So I have the baked potatoes. So I'm just gonna slice these. These are cold, they've been in the fridge overnight. So they're good and cold, but they got that great potato flavor that comes when you bake a potato. That's why I like baking them and then freeze them, chunk them up, wedge them up, whatever. So there's our wedges. Of course, we got to get the potato out. So we're just going to take a, whoops, take a spoon, scoop it out. And I'll, I'll try and get this out and leave these in a little bit of chunk so I can chunk it up with that last potato so we can have it for breakfast potatoes tomorrow maybe mm. yeah so we just need to scrape a little bit of that out to okay. leave just the skin all right so the skins are ready leaving just enough potato in there to get a little bit of flavor now I need to get this ready oh I got to get my melted butter so I'm just gonna brush these with butter the inside and the back and I'll cook these in the air fryer. You could do them in the oven as well. This is just going to crisp it up a little bit. The butter's never bad. No. Yeah, I, I also didn't mention it's going to add some flavor as well. <laughs> That's why I like using butter instead of oil. All right, oh, got a little leftover. Might as well get it in there. And what was that, like a tablespoon? Or uh, that was, I think that was two tablespoons of butter I melted, and I got just a little bit left over, but that's okay. And this is just a couple medium sized, but you could do as many potatoes as you want. Oh, certainly, yeah. We just have a couple, you know, we, we, don't, we only need two. All right, I'm gonna put these in the air fryer 370 until they start getting brown and crispy. Just remember, forgot one thing. These potatoes, I want a little bit of salt and pepper at the bottom, at the potato. So I'm gonna do that. Otherwise, that potato is not gonna have much seasoning in it. And potatoes need some seasoning, as you know. All right, now into the air fryer. Just scrambling up a couple of eggs while the potatoes are air frying. Now you're gonna put these back in so are you just kind of under scrambling these a little bit so no nah, because it, it won't go back in for very long and it'll have toppings on top of it i'm gonna you're, you're gonna, gonna cook them good i don't know <laughs> we'll figure it out so the skins are done went 10 minutes at 370 in the air fryer so now we're gonna put a little cheese in the bottom of our boats our skins This is just cheddar. Yeah, shredded cheddar. I'm even gonna push those down a little bit if I can get it down into the tater. Mm -hmm. Cause we got toppings coming up. <laughs> All right, now we'll go with the scrambled eggs. Put those in, kind of mash them down a little bit. And this is just two eggs for four tater skins. And that looks like it should be about right. Yeah, this guy's a little bigger. Could have even maybe done a little more egg, it looks like. Maybe one more. So I'll keep that in mind for next time, because I'm sure we'll be making it again. We have lots of stuff to put on top, though. Yeah, we do. And then I'm going to top it with the bacon. And these are going to go back in the air fryer just for a couple of minutes, just to get this bacon heated up, get the cheese melted a little bit. Yeah, this is just diced bacon. 
And you did the potato skins like 10 minutes in the air fryer. 10 minutes, 370, yep. And they got a little, little crispy on the edges. All right, so bacon is on. Boy, I'm losing some bacon here. I hate when that happens. That pan's hot. All right. Careful. <laughs> so that, that's the toppings I'm gonna to put on. These are going back in the air fryer for uh, probably three minutes. There we go, three minutes in the air fryer. Now we're just gonna to top this with a little bit more cheese. Not melted, just so it looks good. So you can tell there's cheese on there. Mm -hmm. And we like cheese. We do, we're fans of the cheese. We love cheese. Now uh, a little bit of salsa, some good mad butcher. We're just always used to, because our potato skins usually have taco meat in them. So I think that's why we like salsa on it. Plus we just like that tomatoey touch. Well, and it's good in like a breakfast burrito. Yeah, exactly. Or an omelet. And Mad Butcher's our favorite. Oh, buddy. Great stuff. <laughs> now, dollop of sour cream. This is always so hard to get off the spoon, isn't it? I'm hungry. Smells good. Oh, come on. Those aren't very even, but we're hungry. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one out. I know, I know. I'm just gonna do that on the on the plate though. <laughs> Finish it up with some of my homegrown green onions. Oh. And there you have it. I better make sure it tastes good because I've never had this before. So now it gets the prettiness is gone. <laughs> now it just needs to taste good. Gonna be hot. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, potatoes, bacon, and eggs all in one. Good breakfast. I will do this again. Let me know if you like it, if you try it, or anything else you'd like us to try, mashups, anything like that, leave a comment below. Click like, subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the TikTok, we're on there too. Thanks for watching Johnny's Cheap. It's time for breakfast.